Welcome back. Now, most of us played with Legos as kids, but at Lindbergh Schweitzer Elementary School's robotics lab, students are using Legos for more than just building blocks. Lego building blocks are one of the oldest plastic toys in the world, and they have dominated the plastic toy world markets for more than 75 years. Today, they take on a new role of more than building blocks. The robotics lab at Lindbergh Schweitzer Elementary School helps third through sixth grade students develop a plan and execute it. I know what to do. Kay Baxter, lab coordinator, wants students to explore a world of science and mechanics. I want them to learn science is fun. I want them to learn about hands-on, how to think through a problem and communicate with each other to solve some of the problems that we're working on and bring that out into their grown-up world. Should we get like an elevator-ish thing to go down and then push it? Yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. Before, when I came here, all I saw was a bunch of pieces. And I thought, this can't be right. We're never going to be able to build a robot out of this. And later on, I've soon realized that a robot is, isn't just magic. It's actually coming from a bunch of pieces. And the idea of like ro turning Legos into robots was really excited my mind. And I was like, wow, I can use Legos and build a robot like this. And so, that just really went, got me in. The student teams are given a real life problem. The challenge is to build a robot from Legos that can be a solution for the problem. I think being able to come and actually build a robot is something that a lot of people would want to do. And I think actually being able to do it is something wonderful that could happen in someone's life. I wonder if it would matter if the axle rod were a little bit closer to the edge. When you have a chance to put hands on, then you, you could see the mechanics, you could see how it works, the communication that's involved. It is all absolutely critical. They've had to read instructions, they've had to write out a plan, they've had to do the math to figure out which gear works best, when it works best. They've had to plot it all out, they've had to trial and error to make it happen. It's, it is the best way to learn. It's fun building the Lego, and then right after you build, you get to program. So then you find new stuff about the robot, and then once you get how to program, it's really fun, like, trying different stuff on it. The students from Madison High School robotics team, the Devil Ducks, come to the school weekly to help in the lab. Our mission is to spread the awareness of science and technology. We basically try to help the kids understand what they're trying to accomplish and help them make goals and meet those goals. Build an extra arm so we can just pull this one off at base oh, yeah. and then put a new one or on. I can so just make can... this longer. And well, yeah, so still... like when it Would it comes still back work to for base, the ball though? I, Do you want to test that? I get to see these kids learn and have fun themselves and that just feels great. I, th I think that it's a really good opportunity for like uh, high school students to get their creative minds working for um, you know, like towards engineering and building and team building. And I think it's really good. So in your design, are you thinking that a senior citizen is going to be able to manage this lever like this that will allow the ball to be released? Is that your idea? Yes. I like it. I'm impressed. When I'm in the robotics program, it really helps me to cooperate with each other, like with, with all of us. So I'm, I'm helping everybody and we're all helping each other. And so it's like a big family and so it's really fun. The science and engineering and math are terrific, but also it's the collaboration around a real world problem. And I think this just really helps kids um, have some experience with what we hope may be part of their future in having a job and a career. Students in the robotics lab are not just playing with Legos. They are building a future in engineering while learning about the scientific process and teamwork. When you're working as a group to build a robot, you can't be saying this is how it's done, this is how it's done, this is how it's done, we're going to do this. You actually have to listen to what other people say and think about what would be best for the team, not what would be best for me. It works, it's not... Lego sure have come a long way. They're all about imagination, but 
Who would have imagined the way they would or could be used today? Stay with us. We'll be back in a minute.